Hi everyone, this is Ali Mockaby, and today I'm going to review for you this great web tool called FlipSnack. And I've already brought up the URL, flipsnack.com. They have two versions, one for educators and one for businesses. When you get a chance, please go visit both of these pages and read more because it's pretty fascinating. Um, since we're all educators, I'm going to go ahead and show you this site. And I've already got it open, so I'm just going to click on my other tab there. I've already set up an account because that kind of took a while and I didn't want to take up tutorial time to do that. Um, but basically it was free. It just required an email for me to name my class. And I called it Suriant Designs. And I added a few friends as... Um, as students, since I'm not actually a teacher, you can add up to 10 students on the free version. If you want to go full pro version, it's uh, $32 a month, $96 a year. But the free version looks like a lot of fun to use. I've already made two books, so for the purpose of showing you today and for the purpose of me getting uh, excited and used to this. I could really see using this for my business. So my first book, we'll go ahead and look at that. I made, uh, I recently did a real estate um, photo shoot and here are just a few pictures that I can uh, share with you today. Um, but this is a flip book and you can click that way or you can turn the pages like this. I made these um, PDF files and imported pictures. That's all I've done so far. Um, obviously I need to work on my layout. But this would be a great way to add, add something to a website. For me, for my business, this is a great way to show off some of my work. I'm going to exit that and we can go back to this one I made now as if I was a classroom teacher. Um, I'm going to, instead of hit view this time, I'm going to hit edit so I can show you my process. All right, right here is where I titled the book, a little brief description. This is where I added all my photos and the these are PDFs, like I said. I think they can be JPEGs as well. Um, basically, that is what this program accepts, JPEGs and PDFs. Um, this PDF here is a book list that I just found on the web, and so I added that. I opened, you know, I right-clicked and opened all of these, but I'm not going to do it this time because they're already there, but I would click Open. And then they load right into here. And once you do that, you have the ability to drag and drop and rearrange. I'm not going to go crazy there or I will mess it up good. <laughs> Alright, so when you get done getting these all in the order that you want, you hit next. And there's a quick preview. And here are some settings. We've got controls. Yeah, you can look at that at your leisure. Um, I'm using the files first page as my cover. I do like this option, which adds this binding look. You have a few more options. We're just going to skip all that and hit finish. And now we have a book. So let's click to read it. We're still in editing mode. So if I don't like it, I can go back, click to read it, that's the cover, open it up. Yeah, you can, three options, you can click on the thumbnails down here, you can click here, you can click the arrow keys on your, on your keyboard, or you can click the corners of the book. So I set this book up like, kind of like a syllabus, I suppose. This is that reading list I was telling you about, just imported it. That's the back of the book. Go back, look at it again. Isn't this cool? I love it. I just found the images on the web, free usage.
close it here. Now when you're all done, you have the option to download, share with groups, share with students, and I think it sends them a quick email saying they have a new book that's being shared with them. They, students can also make books because you've added them into the classroom and so they will also have the ability to make books as well and share them with the rest of the class. So I think this is a fabulous way of collaborating and teaching and participating however you choose. I think it would be good for math, science, English, all subjects. Obviously great for photography. <laughs> so um, I think that's it. Again, when you get a chance, please go check this out. It's absolutely free, and um, I think you'll have fun. So if you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave a reply um, in the message board for me, and I will be happy to answer them. Thank you so much for listening.